Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is another weekly vlog. It is currently Thursday, November 11th, and I am off today for Veterans Day. So I just wanna say um, thank you to all of, our, all of our veterans for their service to our country. And thank you for your bravery in standing up for us. Um, but we do get off at my company for Veterans Day. We have quite a few veterans um, who work with us, who are part of our staff. This hair is like really bugging me, I'm sorry. Um, so we did get it off. So actually last night I went and spent the night at, I just wanna start off the video on this cute background. So I'm gonna go sit at the kitchen table. Um, but yeah, yesterday, last night, I spent the night at Ryan's. I'm gonna set you up right here while I unload my Chick-fil-A breakfast. Yes. Um, spent the night at Ryan's. We made some like tilapia and um, veggie fries. It was really good. And um, we watched the new movie on Netflix, Love Hard, which I already watched it actually uh, Tuesday night. <laughs> and then I made him watch it with me again last night. And then this morning I brought my work computer. Um, let me switch over here. So I brought my work computer also to Ryan. So when he got up at seven to start working, I also got up and started working until like 9.30. And then I left and I picked up Chick-fil-A breakfast because I'm Chick-fil-A obsessed. But today is not really like, I don't have too many plans. Me and my mom are gonna go um, dress shopping for my cousin's wedding, which is tomorrow night. Um, and I really need to get some new pairs of jeans. The only jeans I own right now are the ones that I wear for work. So I need some like casual wear jeans. So I kind of want to go to Target and see if they have anything there. And that's about the plans. I'm gonna like clean here and there. I need to go get new a new set of tires tomorrow. My dad already or ordered them for me at the dealership he works at. So I have to go get a new set of tires tomorrow. Not excited about that, but that's okay. Um, and maybe I'll decorate for Christmas. We'll see because I'm off today and I took off Friday. So I have a four day weekend. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the plans for today. I'm gonna get to eating my Chick-fil-A. Um, I got the, oop, I tilted it over. I got the chicken biscuit and I added egg, cheese, and bacon because I'm hungry and hash browns and the vanilla iced coffee. So it's gonna be really good and I will talk to you guys later.
guys i put on a little bit of makeup i filmed um a couple intros for some videos and now my bed is taken over by body care so many <laughs> so yeah um this is my current body care collection i just did a whole video on it it's a lot it's a lot a lot a lot i'm so not comfortable with how large it is right now the only thing I'm comfortable with is my hand soap. That's like totally fine. My shower gels could use a little bit of work, but I'm not like super stressed about them. But oh my God, I have way too many lotions and way too many sprays. So that needs to get in check. Um, but this little sneak peek, this video will be out, uh, I think next week. So just keep an eye out if you want to see everything. But yeah, this is kind of what I've been working on tonight. And now I have to go clean all that up and put out all my candles. So I'm going to do a candle inventory after this. So I know I remember saying that I would do a pre-SAS and post-SAS collection of everything. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, it's just a little bit delayed because I included all my fall stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm working on today. I also need to haul for you guys what I picked up while shopping with my mom. So I'll do that in a bit as well. But I'm gonna start doing, uh, I'm start putting all this away from my bed and then put out all my candles. Okay, so I just finished filming the candle collection. And honestly, you guys, it's not that bad. Let me show you. I really thought that it was a lot worse than it is, but um, I counted it up. So these are all my Bath and Body Works candles, single wick, uh, wallflower fragrance refills, car fragrance refills, more single wicks from different brands other different brands with Goose Creek and Aldi. And then these five up here are ones that I'm either like giving away to people or I'm still undecided if I'm gonna keep them or not. Um, but yeah, total 23 uh, three wicks and then four single wicks, one, two, three, four. So pff, honestly, I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad, but I do need to finish up a lot of the fall ones um, to make room for some Christmas ones so that way I can go crazy on candle day. But yeah, watch the uh, candle collection video. I think it's gonna be up already if you are curious about those. And I did mention like most of my thoughts during them. It's kind of a longer video because I talked a lot, but that's okay. Um, and let me go ahead and haul for you guys what I picked up today with my mom. And then I'm gonna clean up and edit a lot. I have to edit a lot of videos. I have three videos to edit. So definitely gonna get that done tonight, hopefully. Um, and then tomorrow I plan on chilling. So I hope that I can get everything done tonight so I can chill tomorrow, but we shall see. I don't want to stress myself out. So um, I'll let you guys know how it goes, but let's get into the haul of what I got today. Okay, so now that it's haul time, let's go through it um, in order. So the first thing we did was go to Hobby Lobby. That's right. That's the first place we went was Hobby Lobby. And of course, we looked at all the Christmas decor. Um, so my mom actually went for like, gift wrapping stuff so she sells mary Kay. so she goes to a lot of trade shows and like she'll wrap up something and look real pretty and um that's how she sells her stuff sometimes so she was looking for a lot of like stuff to wrap gift wrapping tool ribbon things like that but i looked at all the christmas stuff and she did too we bought she bought a few like actually christmas things too but um i'm gonna show you what i got i didn't go too crazy though i was very proud of myself i went crazy like being so excited at seeing everything, but I didn't go crazy buying things, so that's good. Um, but the first thing I got, oh, it's so cute, is this little candy cane. Um, I guess you'd say it's an ornament. It says Merry Christmas on it, and it was $5.99. All of the Christmas stuff was half price, but um, I think I'm planning on using this in, we have a Christmas tree downstairs that I bought for us last year in the dining room and it is completely flocked. So it is very messy, but it is my like candy cane Christmas tree. I have been dreaming of doing a candy cane red and white themed Christmas tree since I was little. And so last year I finally had the means to do it because I had a big girl job, big girl money. So I finally did it. Um, but I thought I could add this to that little tree. It's just like a skinny pencil tree because we just stick it in the corner of the dining room. It's like out of the way. It's not, it's not blocking anything, but it's so cute. So I got this little thing to go in it as well. I did find this little like riser, this little stand riser. So cute and it has plaid on it. And I actually use like plaid or buffalo check in our like year round decor anyways. So I figured this would be great. And then if I don't want it to show, I could just put a mug on top and you'll never see it. It'll just be white. So this was $4.99, but on sale. So it was $2. You cannot beat that price for a little stand to use just for like decorating. And my favorite thing that I got 
which is the biggest thing that I got, which I could not put down because he was so cute. And that is this like Santa door hanger. He's so cute. And he's got little fuzzies where his hat is. It's like pom pom in the rim of his hat. It says ho, ho, ho. I just, I just love him. He's so cute with his little nose. He was at $21.99, so $22 half price so he was actually only $11 he's pretty big honestly he's like the size that a wreath would be so we're either going to put him on our front door or we have like a door for decoration this sounds really weird but we have like a vintage door that we purchased just for purely decor purposes and we stick it in like it's just like in a corner of our living room it's so cute and we put a little wreath on it, it stays there year round but I think I might put Santa there now instead but he was too cute I could not leave him there so picked him up but that's what I got at Hobby Lobby then we went to Dollar Tree. I really didn't need anything. Not really any of the, I got a lot of Christmas decor last year, so I really don't need any more. Um, and most of the decor either I already had or I really didn't want. So I didn't get any decor, but I did pick up a few things. I found they had these, um, I've, just, oh, they're for them. I've seen these at Walmart before, but they're basically just like uh, bath soap packs. And this one is for aches and pains, nighttime relief says for better restful sleep sore tired feet and on the go relief epsom salt menthol and lavender that's the first little pack but i'm pretty sure at walmart these are like three to five dollars um this one's for aches and pains muscle relief muscle and joint discomfort sore tired feet on the go relief this is epsom salt menthol and spearmint so i've used this one before and i actually really like it so i'm actually pretty happy to have found these for a dollar each that's pretty good. And then I did get this because I just saw it and I wanted it. Um, so if you guys have never seen this before, this is the Piers Original Pure and Clean Soap. It's a, just the transparent soap. And the reason why I got this is to try to do soap brows. So it was like a trend a while back and people still do it. Um, and people have done it before it was a trend. It's They use like this clear transparent soap on their eyebrows to like stick them up and make them look gorgeous and full and beautiful all day long so I'm gonna try that and see how it works but I hadn't ever really seen the just the plain pear soap or pear soap I'm not exactly sure how you say it um I had never really seen that at um Dollar Tree before so I picked it up for a dollar and I figured I'll try uh, my hand at soap brows so that's it from Dollar Tree and then Target so Target, I really went to get some new jeans and I did find one pair of jeans. So all the jeans that I own right now are like for work. And then I have one pair of boot cut jeans that I wear everywhere, like for casual wear. So I wanted to get another pair of jeans. I actually was looking for like, just like plain high rise, straight leg, maybe ripped jeans, but I found another pair of boot cuts. So these are the Levi's Denizen, no, sorry, Denizen from Levi's um mid-rise boot cut so i ended up getting another boot cut they were $27.99 the fabric doesn't feel the best but these are so flattering on me and i noticed the the jeans that have like this thing on here are really flattering for my shape i'm like a pear shape if that gives you some perspective so very small up top and then i have wider hips and i am short so my legs are kind of short so usually um pants are too long on me but these are like perfect I even tried them on I was wearing just like tennis shoes today and I tried them on with my tennis shoes and they worked perfectly so really really love these they're so cute um excited to have another pair of boot cut jeans because I just figured out that they flatter my um body shape really well so that's what I got and then I did pick up a few things in the dollar spot I picked up this pair of cheetah print socks just because they're cute and they were a dollar right they were a dollar like okay these are better quality than the like five pack of ones I bought on Amazon so I'm gonna trash those and just keep these um and then I did also purchase some more fuzzy socks mine are kind of falling apart and I needed some more so I picked up these and these are like the cashmere ones they're not just fuzzy like they are like soft and they look durable and this is a two pack for three dollars and then my favorite thing that I got from Target um, it was not a planned purchase, but I saw it in stores and decided that I needed it. And that is the Native Body Wash in Sugar Cookie. I'm sure you guys have heard all about it all over TikTok, all over YouTube. Everybody who does hygiene has heard about it. And let me tell you right now, it smells amazing. They had the peppermint one too, or candy cane one too. And I'm kind of regretting not getting it. Should I go back and get it? Let me know. I'm going to Target tomorrow. Well, I'll probably be going more, but... Oh my goodness. 
I think I'm going to use this tonight and update you guys on what I think. Because it smells so good. But I've never used anything from Native before, so I'm curious to see how it is. I know that they are like a um, clean brand, so it's sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and phthalate-free, which is really good. So I know it's a good brand, I just haven't tried it yet. So that's what I got from there. And then at Marshall's, I was really, really good. I was having a great time looking at all the Christmas decor. They had so much stuff. They had a bunch of gift sets. They had a bunch of body care. They had so many good body care things, you guys. I hope you saw that in the vlog portion. They had like all, they had philosophy body creams. They had all of the seasonal um, Onyx bathhouse scrubs. I was like so tempted to get everything, but I walked out with just a beanie, just a black beanie because I broke mine last year. I tore the pom-pom off of it and this one's like really good quality. You can't tell because I'm wearing black and my bed is black, but I swear, I swear it's really good quality. It has like a little fold on it so you could even fold it down if you wanted to, but I kind of like the fold. It was $14.99, a little expensive, but I haven't tried it on actually. Let me take my hair out of clip. But it, it is like, it looks really good quality. <gasps> oh my, mm, wait a minute, give me a second. I might have to wear this a bit to get it to s sit down here on my head. Um, But it's not bad, actually this is kind of cute. It's so fluffy. Okay, so I'm happy with that purchase. I probably just put it on my head and somebody else has tried it on and I'm about to get lice, but um, not really. I'm gonna probably pop that in the dryer though before I wear it, but yeah, that's everything for the haul that I did today with my mom. That was a lot of fun. We haven't done something like that in quite some time because I've been so busy and she's been very busy too, so that was really nice. Um, I am gonna clean all this up, go edit hopefully. I ate dinner um, late lunch at like three, so I'm not really hungry, but I'm gonna eat a little bit because I know I might be starving um, if I don't. But that's everything for today. I'm gonna edit, shower, go to bed, and hopefully have a little relaxing day tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night is my cousin's wedding. I'm so excited. So um, that's gonna be, I think it's at like seven. So, and it's, it's here in town, so it's not gonna be far. So I'm probably gonna chill for most of the day, edit some more, maybe film another video, just like pre-record. Um, but yeah, that's the plans. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later. You guys, I'm a dingus. I just cut open these shoes, these shoes, these socks, and they say kids. Yep, kids medium and large, sizes two to five. However, it does actually fit my foot uh, a little bit tight, but still fits. So if you have a size seven foot or smaller, they still fit. So just be aware. Make sure you look that it says kids socks, not adults. Hello guys, it is now currently Friday, um, November 12th, and it's like two o'clock, 2.50 actually. Um, and my cousin's wedding is at 4.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I just finished doing my hair. I just did what I usually do is just blow it out and then straighten just the top, because it usually stays a little wavy at the top, but I'm gonna do my makeup. Oh, and I wanted to update you guys. Um, so the dinner roll candle, okay, burned this yesterday couldn't smell a thing. I can smell it in the lid and in the jar, but I could not smell a thing. So that's a dud. I'm gonna try it again because I could only do it for like three, four hours. So I'm gonna try it again and see if I can't get a full wax pull because I couldn't really get a full wax pull out of it last night. Um, so I'll try again and if it's still bad, I'll put it on the warmer and see if that will work. I mean, on my candle crock and see if that'll work. But yeah, that was that's how that one went. And then also the sugar cookie shower gel from Native that I used. Uh, I used it last night in my shower. Okay, this hanger is bothering me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I used it last night in the shower and it was pretty good. It's not like it was like super strong or anything, but it smelled really nice. And my skin did feel like really clean afterwards. I wouldn't say it was moisturized, but it did feel clean. So yeah, I, I think it was good. It, it didn't like wow me, but it was good, so. Aki, we're all done. This is the dress. It's still a little wet because I put like a de-wrinkle spray on it. But this is the dress I'm wearing. I'm bringing a little, where did it go? I'm bringing a little cardigan in case it gets cold, but it's not cold right now. It's like 70s. Um, oh, I'm leaving my jewelry on. There we go. I put on some berry balm and this Jante Blue brown sugar lip pencil. Nothing crazy. I think I'm going to be wearing a mask most of the time. Do a quick hairspray. Okay.
Bye. Sunday, November 14th, and I didn't really vlog yesterday because I did not really do a lot. I like recorded three videos, I edited a few videos, um, I did like a makeup tutorial for TikTok. Oh, you're crooked, I'm sorry. I like worked out and um, that was about it. So nothing super crazy, but um, I just didn't vlog because I was just kind of doing whatever. Um, but today it's like 1150. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock. I already um, had breakfast and went and did some grocery shopping. I'm going to show you. I picked up a few sets of press on nails from HEB. I want to say these press on nails from Impress are like five, 580 each. They're like $6 each. And I got two wares out of the last set that I got from them. Um, so I definitely wanted to get some more. So it's like $3 a set. Really, really good. So the first ones I got are the short length. Um, doesn't really say a style on them. Oh, here we go. Kill, kill heels. Um, but they're just red. I thought they'd be really cute for Christmas time. And they're the short ones with little like jewels on them. So right now I'm wearing the short ones and I actually really like this length. I think they're perfect. And I actually really like the press on ones versus the ones you put glue on. Because I find these actually stay on longer than the glue on ones. So really like these. And then I also got them in I'd Rather Be. And they're like this blue, silver, and white. So cute for winter. So this will probably be the first set I put on in December. Just really pretty. I can't tell if this is like ombre blue to white or if it's just blue. I think it's like a little bit of ombre light blue to a little bit darker. Really pretty for winter. And then these are like ones that I actually wanted to wear for the wedding last week um, on Friday. But um, I wasn't able to because I had some leftover from... Let me see if I can pull them out. Here they are. Uh, Glamnetic in Madame. But they're like... They're the same like French tip things, but I didn't have enough left that I hadn't already used. Um, so I did pick up another pack of like French tip kind of nails. These are medium length. And I think instead of keeping this like straight length at the end, I'm going to taper it off into like a um, pointed tip. But they have little jewels on them. They're just really sophisticated and pretty. So I figured I'll keep a, um, I'll always try and keep a pair of like French tips on hand just in case I need them. So really happy about the Impress nails. I think that's such a good deal for getting two sets of wear out of them. So um, really the rest of the day, I think I'm gonna clean. I need to like clean my room, clean the bathroom, do a little bit of dusting and do a lot more editing of videos and kind of just prep for the week, maybe do some room meal prep. I might uh, try and start Christmas decorating, but I could also do that this week because I am working from home all week except for Friday. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I'm not really gonna be doing anything crazy this upcoming week. It's really just gonna be like grinding at work and that's about it. So I do wanna say thank you for watching this week's vlog. I know it's probably a longer one, um, but I appreciate the support from you guys. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. I can't believe that. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.